Here Trent. we are. Now, here we are live with some women's doubles action. We are in the first frame. It's looking like Tammy has uh, a bag in the hole, a bag short of the board. I think Sarah's got four on. I believe that's going to be one for Finch and Williams. Yes, one it is. Finch and Williams get a point there. They're the they're the higher seed, but Davis Hurd are in the driver's seat right, right. now, the queen seat. So they that gotta, means they got to be double dipped here in this women's doubles championship match. And again, we're broadcasting from Roanoke, Virginia, at the Berglund Center. So now, for those of you that are just joining Tiffany us, maybe you don't know quite what's going on. We played our women's doubles tournament yesterday. These are the final two teams in women's doubles. We saved the championship for Saturday. We're going to go through all of our championships here on center court back to back to back to back. Yeah, these ladies have been playing cornhole all day too because they started the day, I think mm -hmm. all of them, in the singles pool play and then the doubles pool play. Yep. And we've even moved into the, the main single. I think I don't know if all of them made it, or uh, probably a couple of them for sure made it to the main uh, the main singles. Mm -hmm. Five to one in favor of uh, Davis Hurt. So it looks like Sarah set up with a good blocker back there, and as you can see, Tammy went to go through it, missed a little to the left, and ended up hanging on the left side of the hole. Sarah can sneak it in on the left, and she goes without Tammy's bag, but that bag's on layaway. It's going to drop as soon as something hits the board, and there it goes. <coughs> That's actually going to be off the back side, though. five more points for Davis Hurt. I mean, this could be over in one game here, but we saw several comebacks yesterday, so it's 10 to 1, but this game's not even close to being over, oh, I don't think. Not, nowhere near. Nowhere near. Tiffany does need a good, a good frame here, though, I think. Mm -hmm. Didn't start off strong there, putting her first bag off the back. Gracie's got one in a hole, one on the board. Yeah, it looks like uh, Tiffany's off to the right side here. Not a little unsatisfied with that last bag, but she's got an opportunity to get it closer here. All right, in the hole limits to just one point for Hurt Davis, and it will be one point. 11 to 1, Davis and Hurt in the lead now by 10 points. So if I'm not mistaken, uh, Brandon, this is um, these, these ladies all play together frequently out of uh, SVC, right? SVC. That's one of the most tight-knit cornhole groups I've ever met. Well, and not only are they tight-knit, but they're loaded with talent. I mean, um, exactly. Gracie Hurt, the young lady in the blonde, uh, sitting next to, or standing next to Tiffany in the pink, uh, she comes from a pretty solid line of cornhole players. Rex Hurt. Like we Caleb talked yesterday, Hurt. it runs in the family. Isaac Hurt, even Isaac this year, Hurt has showed out. 40 or 20 or whatever he is now. I remember when uh, Caleb and Rex, I first met them, we would play with Isaac, and he was not he was not all that developed as a cornhole player. I will say that. I'm not going to say he was bad. He his, It was Wait. raw talent. Breaking oh, news, though. Finch and Williams score a couple points yep. there. It's uh, now 11-4. Now, tell me about the talent now. The talent, it's its just grown exponentially for those kids, especially the way they practice at home now with an outdoor facility to practice cornhole in. You know, Gracie goes out there to practice, Isaac. I'm sure Caleb spends his hours in there just getting ready to play for this right here, center court. And obviously the hard work has paid off because Gracie's here in the driver's seat of women's doubles. There you go. Tiffany puts four in the hole, scores two points on that. Gracie finishes out with a nice pitch up the middle. 11 to six, that lead was halved. Feels like uh, the Fincham Williams team has settled down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now it looks like we've got what we expected. This is gonna be a great match. Now, yep. thing is, Fincham Williams have to beat Davis Hurt twice to win the title, where yep. Davis Hurt can win the title by just winning this first game. Now, I will say, Sarah Davis has had a really good weekend. I know she's in other finals um, later on in the co-ed finals with Austin Cameron. I'm not sure if she made the women's singles final. can't remember off the top of my head. But uh, And I've just heard people talking. Sarah Davis is throwing lights out, and she really has been. She's not missing very much against anyone. Well, thanks again to the Berglund Center and uh, visit uh, Blue Ridge. Uh, the ACO has uh, come back out to the Roanoke, Virginia area for the second year in a row. We actually had a postpone this. Uh, this is a postponed major mm -hmm. because of the COVID situation, but um, really has turned out to be an outstanding weekend at Cornhole. It has. 
Now 16 to six, Davis and Hurt extend the lead again to 10 points. Over 200 plus players out here this weekend. I think we're close to like 220 from uh, 12 to 13 states. The ladies are driving the bag right up the middle right now. Uh oh, Gracie shoots a little on right of the hole. Tiffany's really found her stroke right now, last mm -hmm. few frames. If this could be a second four bagger in a row for her, if she. Uh... That's a really good shot there. You go through the blocker bag, and these bags that they're throwing with are relatively sticky bags. So that shot, it might seem simple. Oh, I just go right in with it, but it's not that hard. I mean, easy. So you're a, you're a great player. I, I, I ask this only because you're you who you are, right? Tiffany drove through that bag, which is a smart way to do it. Mm -hmm. But is it, um, should she have just laid out? Um, because if she misses it, she tips her in the hole and loses right. some points there. But I think you don't want to lose that rhythm of what she was on right now. I mean, that was her second four bagger in a row. Right. So, so maybe she just doesn't want to lose that rhythm. What do you think? That's a good question. And I mean, a lot of players maybe don't really know what to do. And a lot of players are like, I'm just going to go for the hole every time without kind of changing my plan. But in some situations, it's not worth it. Like you said, like you can knock them in and it could end up being a wash. You don't score your points. So I think a better bag might have been to just board it. But then there's also that off chance throwing those Reynolds bags that you're going to hit that blocker bag and it might kind of flip over or you might somehow sneak around it on either side. So it's a give and take. She could have walked away with four. I don't know that she would have went over that bag in particular. But yeah, I think I think a, a boarded bag might have been the safest play to guarantee your two points. We're now at 16 to eight, an eight point lead for Davison Hurt. Well, I got news, Tiffany has really caught fire though. This could be 16 bags in a row for her if she goes in the hole here. Oh, and it is, that's 16 bags in a row for she, Tiffany Fincham. She's a really like competitive player and her like desire for competition just drives her to be better. Tiffany. Like in the first few, yeah, Tiffany. In the first few rounds, you could tell she was really unhappy with the way she was throwing. And look at her now. Oh, she's she's like, I got to be better. I'm got better than this. Three points there on uh, little Miss Gracie Hurd. It's 16 to 11 here at the like, ACO Major. If there's one thing I'll say about all the players on this board, it's that Tiffany's mental like mental game is probably one of the strongest in terms of aggression. Like, I'm going for the hole, and I'm not going to miss it. And I'm going to shoot it every time if I need to. I don't know. Uh, Miss Tammy Williams, I would say, she doesn't maybe express it emotionally as yeah. much, but I think she's a tiger inside, man. Mm -hmm. uh, she definitely no... is as well. <laughs> In the hole here, it could be four more points for Davis wow, and Hurt. Wow, a great shot by Sarah Davis to leave that – bag of Tammy Williams up on the board. I'm in, I'm impressed by how big the the round scored for Davis and Hurt are. They've only scored four times, or let's see, one, two, three, five times. Three fives, a four, and a one in this game. Like, that's not how uh, championships normally are, and we still have a pretty close game. I mean, 20 to 11, it's nine points difference, but that's still pretty close in the grand scheme of things. Oh, that is the first bag, and it could be the deadly bag for Tiffany that she just missed. Now, this is where Pushing to the right. you have to see if Gracie's, like, mentally strong enough to stay with it. Like, she has the chance to win the game, and she misses off to the right side. That's a nerve-wracking shot. Right. And this, again, is a nerve-wracking shot. another opportunity at it. Able to is. hit this one. Now, Tiffany can still grab that bag. It's hanging a good bit on the right side there. She shoots oh, the air There it is, and misses. ladies and gentlemen. We have a champion. Davis Hurt over Fincham Davis Williams and for Gracie the... Hurt. Let's see if we can grab him on up here. Okay. No, 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 because I, 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 we'll, we'll wait. Yeah, we'll wait for Mark. Yep. the chairs over here they can use that one I'll use this one. Sarah I'm trying to grab uh, Miss Sarah trying to grab Miss Sarah Davis and Gracie Hurd over here to the Let booth her there. here sit on down here ladies oh, nice job lady nice thank job you. girl thank you thank you 
All right, so you guys just played incredibly well. How does it feel to be the women's doubles champions, Roanoke, Virginia? It feels good. It feels good. Right, Gracie? It, feels it, good. Does. it does. We have struggled for the past couple months, ever since Worlds and the first major. So finally winning this one, undefeated all the way through the tournament, was pretty sweet. I mean, I've been hearing lots of good things about you two already this weekend. Just people talking about, like, oh, my goodness. Like, they're on fire. They're just beating everybody. Uh, I talked to Isaac earlier. He's like, Sarah just whooped me. She she didn't even miss against me. So, I mean. Me you, all right, we're going to attribute it to the BG bags. Not to the bags, but the boards were slick, so we needed a, a bag that suited us both that weren't fast. We found the bag to work it, and it worked. All right, so uh, do you guys have Gracie anything? Stole her butt off too, so that help? She's she's throwing really well. Do you guys have <laughs> anything else to say to everybody at home watching? Um, women rule the game, you guys. If you're a lady, come play with us. Come on. Exactly. Give them some more competition. All right. Thank you, Gracie and Sarah, coming out to speak with us. Congratulations again on your win. Next up, it looks like you're. I think we'll have some seniors games coming up here in just a few minutes. All right, so coming up next on center court, we've got Mr. Tom Bobo and Mark Smothers.